Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Autonaton. And as it would have um, as it would have it, it's raining and it's sunset just as I started to record. So let's go to sleep and then I can show you all the changes that I made because I have been quite busy actually. So let's have a look. In the last episode, um, I had a little chat with you guys about expanding my base. So I've done that and we're now um, wide, wider, bigger. I've moved these machines from in the back wall where they were before against this wall, but we're going to take this down soon because that's one of the quests that I need to do. Um, in the last episode we did um, expanding, yes, talk about biodiesel. So for plant oil we got the squeezer, um, for ethanol we got the um, fermenter and for biodiesel we got the refinery and I put the machines up. I was going to do it on camera but it it literally took me about two hours to do it and um, yeah it wasn't it took me a long time to work out how to do it but basically I can demonstrate using the uh, what's this thing the metal mass projector but basically when you have the projector because I think the projector was one of the one of the quest rewards you shift right click no yes you shift right click it will give you a ghostly image and you can shift and right click and it will mirror the the image it's not going to make much difference with this because it's the same on both sides or no not shift and right click shift and middle button it will mirror it and if you use if you just hold down the middle button it will rotate it round. Then once you're happy where you want to put it, you shift click and then you can put in, it would, it would stabilize the image, the ghostly image, and then you can put down the blocks that you need. So for the crusher, which is something we got in an earlier um, quest, I need steel scaffold in there and when you have it in your hand it will highlight what you need and it will make the ghostly image just slightly brighter so if I take it out of my hand I don't know if you can see it it's something you'll probably have to see on your monitor when you're making it do I have any yes I have a redstone engineering block but when you have it in your hand it will highlight and it will the image will become slightly brighter you place it down and once the bottom tier is correct it will highlight the top tier so I need the two conveyor belts and the piston let's put that there so again I have the conveyor belts in my hand and it's showing me where, where I can put them and as you can see it's now red because it's not correct I can use the engineer's hammer to turn it around and now it's flowing in the right direction, no longer highlighted. Same with the other conveyor belt, it's highlighted in red because it's not orientated properly. If I use the engineer's hammer to rotate it and once it's flowing in the right direction, the red outline will disappear. For the piston, I can place it. Again, it's red because obviously it's not pointing down. And I can use the engineer's hammer to rotate it there you go so now it's pointing down it's no longer outlined in red and we have to, an extra block on top which is the uh, isn't it the light in no that's the light engineering block 
Do I not have one in my inventory? Nope. Let me go and get one. Is that light? Yes. Yeah, I think that's the light engineering block. But we'll get a light one and a heavy one because I can't remember which one it is. Uh, there's a light one. Let's try the, the light one. It will tell us if it's right. Well, it hasn't lit up in red. Uh, no, it's coming out. Let's go on the other side. Yep, that was it. That was it. So, that's it. But I'm not sure how I connect it to other things or how to get it to work. But I'm just using that to show you how you can use it to put to set it up. And that's basically how I set up these machines. Oh, you know what it is? I have to hit it with the engineering hammer. So if I right click, no, not on that, on the redstone bit. Nope. Nope. Maybe it's part of a multi-block, I don't know. No, that just makes it rotate. Now you're supposed to click on it with the, like you do with the other machines. You right click on it and it's supposed to um, build itself. But it hasn't, I don't know why, but I'll have to find out. But that's basically what I did with these. So I put them all together and then I right clicked on them and they turned into these machines. I've hooked them up to power and let me show you my power. I made a water wheel. Um, I didn't do it on camera bec basically because I really don't know what I'm doing with water wheels. So I was following a, a tutorial. I will link to the tutorial in the description. It's by the excellent um, Valen, Mischief of Mice, and he does some great um, in-depth tutorials on different mods. And um, But basically, you build the framework. His was for, uh, for a three water wheel setup, but I had to be extra, so I did six water wheels. I don't know if it, to be honest, I don't know if it gives you any more power if you put six water wheels as opposed to three. But there you go. And you start the water flowing at the bottom and you put in, you put water in at the bottom to start it flowing round. And then when you get to the top, you put in the water away from you to keep it moving around. I believe is what is what you have to do I mean I managed to get it worked to work I'm not sure how I managed to get work to work but I did but like I said Valen oh ouch Valen is excellent at that and he explained it beautifully so um so yeah but it's working I'm getting power well not if I click on that if I I like that there's power going through and to my capacitors and to the machines as I need them. Right, let's take this apart because I don't want that there. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't validate, but I'm probably missing something. I don't know. And then to get rid of the shadow, if you put it down someplace else, then it will get rid of it. Oh, wrong thing. Right, let's put these away and then let's concentrate on what I wanted to work on today. Right, so let's go back. And these lit up. I'm not sure how because I didn't. I th oh you know what I think because I had 
the stuff in my toolbar for uh, the diesel set up the rewards uh, because I had those in my in my toolbar it completed but I didn't set out to do it but like I said you will have things in your bar and it will complete the same with alternate steam I had all of these in my toolbar and it auto completed and uh, might as well take the stuff for that ah yeah you took yes you did diesel power okay well we haven't made any biodiesel yet so we're not going to do that just just yet right let's go back um powering up and i wanted to do i would take this as well kinetic dynamo i wanted to do reinforced bla blast bricks because that is quite easy So reinforced blast bricks is the blast brick and steel plates. Um, so that's these. Let's take this apart. Am I full? Oh, I'm full. Um, Where the conveyor belts pick you up, and that is where are the blast brick uh, blast bricks? Twenty seven of those, so we need twenty seven steel plates, right? bricks steel plates yes so you want the engineer's hammer and steel it's 27 and then to make the bricks but just one on top of the other is that going to work in a two by two I wonder oh cool Right, so that's done. And we claim another loot chest. Even better steel production. Blast furnace preheater. By attaching preheaters to the improved blast furnace and powering them, we can increase the heat and produce steel even better. Okay. Well, if we're going to, if we need power, we have this set up. So we might as well put it over here. So what do we need for an improved blast? No, preheated. I put blast. Blast furnace preheater. Iron sheet metal around an external heater. And I think the external heater was... Let me see. Is it... That's this one. Okay, so to make that, we just need redstone, copper, copper coil, block, copper, iron. Okay, alright, so we need redstone. Actually, before we do that, because there's probably no room left in my inventory, Let's put the food away. Um, and let's open these loot chests. Uh, Ender pearls. Very nice. Uh, what? Advanced logistical transporter. Advanced pressurized tube. Advanced mechanical tube. And advanced universal cable. Have no idea what those are for. Probably mechanism? Yes. Okay. Um, wasn't there another one? I guess not. And 
and acceleration card. Oh, this... What? Okay, um, storage. I guess it's, um, emi fluid. So that's got to be the, um, oh dear, AE2 system. Advanced, advanced, no, applied energistics, that's it. So that's for the storage system that we were trying to set up a couple of episodes ago and then we couldn't. And there's the external heater. We need two, do we need two furnaces? Then I need three. So put those round and the two heaters gives us two blast furnaces. Oh, no. I pressed I and this came up. I have no idea. No idea. Okay. By attaching preheaters to the improved blast furnace and powering them, we can increase the heat and produce steel even faster. Okay, so power would come in from this side. So if I put in the blast furnace, three, and do I have, yes I do. Do all of them? No. Take my engineer's hammer. Right click. No. Nope. What's wrong? Or is it supposed to be hollow on... No. Is it supposed to be hollow on the inside? I don't think so. This was supposed to be easy. Uh, I'll claim that anyway. But um, that uh, reinforced blast, blast, blast. Oh, the hopper's probably supposed to be on the inside. Is it on the end? No, it's on top. I think the hopper's supposed to be on top. Where did our brick go? I think the hopper's supposed to be on top. Do we have enough to make a hopper on us? No, we don't. And the chest will give us a hopper. Do I have... Yes, I have scaffolding. Yeah, I think the hopper's supposed to be on top. Okay, so over the middle. Put the hopper come down now we want it this way yes right then we need to move these out of the way and you put one blast heater in front or one on each side basically Um, is it the same all the way around? Okay, nope. Could I have used the engineer's hammer to rotate that? There's only one way to find out. Yes, I could. Right, and put this on this side. And we need power. How do you power it? Is it that bit? No, that looks like a fan. Usually the power is indicated and it's input and output. Because, you know, you'll have something and it will say input or output. Okay, um, let me try putting a... Do I have another capacitor?
I don't have another capacitor. What I might have to do is put a relay in here. So I need a fence. Um, no, I don't need a fence. If I put a wall mount here and put a relay on it, then I could split it. Actually, I probably need to move it across a little bit. So if I put it over the door, now those are MV wire connectors. I'm not sure if I could, I probably should be able to use those because it's a lower voltage. So I could probably use it, or well, we could find out if I could use it, but I need a relay, which I don't have. Two terracotta or four terracotta? Oh, two terracotta, yeah, that's right. Two terracotta, two copper, eight wire relays. I want to put glass glass in the ceiling to give it a bit more light because, as you can probably tell, in here it was pretty dark. Okay, so I want the relay on top there. Ah. That's where the power goes in. I've just seen it. It's at the top. Alright, so if I um, relay connector. Can't attach it. No, I need it. Would be LV to LV then. Okay. Well, that was worth noting. I guess that's what the transformer would. Why did I take that down? Because I'm going to need it. But no, I guess that's what you'd need the transformer for. Um, LV connector. And two four connectors. I hope this space is big enough. I think it is. I mean, I hope it is. But even if it isn't, we still have space to spread out on that side towards the Woot Farm. Okay, LV wire relay. Should we put in... I think we should... Actually, I think we should move the relay across. Um, that's the MV. Let's move that. Nope, that's not where I wanted to put it. Probably didn't need that light anyway because the glowstone will give enough um, light relay there and okay one of his invalid connector nope Okay, okay, I see I see what I was trying to do. If I take the relay, I'm going to get there eventually. If I put this back over the door, because that's the most central point, and I take my wire cutters, no, no that's what we don't need. Take my wire cutters, snip this, and get this back, and then link from the connector to the relay, and then from the relay to this machine here. Oh, and 
and then that's a relay isn't it that's a connector and then from the relay to this connector here and also actually we could put in another relay because we have another wall mount um, so on that brick put it there No, it's not where I want to put it. I didn't really want to come down, that's the thing. <laughs> but never mind. And then from relay to relay. Sorry if my voice keeps going backwards and forwards. I keep shifting in my chair. And then I remember that I am i shouldn't be shifting in my chair. So, sorry about that. Uh, oh, do we need another copper coil? I thought I had one. Fooey. Oh, because we used them all up to make the um, improved furnaces. We will get there on this. LV wire sticks. Okay, we had enough left over. So we didn't need that copper. So we can put that back. Take the coil. And let's go and power up these puppies. Now I shouldn't need to have to jump back on again. Right, so from the connector, no, from the relay to this relay, and from this relay to that connector. There. That's it. So we can take this down now. And we have power. So let's see this thing working before we sign off. So recipe. So iron turns into steel. I should have gotten a stack of iron. But let's go back and get a stack of iron. Um, let's see. So... Iron, iron, what's, oh, there it is. Stack of iron. Alright, that's not doing anything. Oh, do I need a lever? Usually when these things don't work, it's because it's missing a lever. So I need a, a stick and a piece of cobblestone. Nope, still not doing anything. <sighs> Am I supposed to put anything in these? I don't know. I don't know how this works. And it's frustrating me. Um, do I need to attach something to the... Improved blast... No, improved blast furnace, right? Oh, blast furnace... But we're providing energy to it, so it shouldn't need... Well, maybe it does. Maybe it still needs fuel, even though we're providing... Oh, then that doesn't make sense, because I would figure if we're providing energy to it, you wouldn't need fuel. But I might be wrong. All right, we've got some coal coke. It's going a lot faster, but I suspect... I'm not doing something right. Yeah, because it's, it's using up the coal coke, but I don't know how how it works with this, because I'm sure there's some funky animation. Yeah, we're providing energy. Did this need a... Maybe this needed a... No, I don't know. I'll have to go and investigate. But it's working, and it's working faster than it did. And that was basically my goal for today, to get this working. So I can check off one more thing in the book. And then...
next time we can look at the diesel generator because that's probably better than having our water wheel even though the water wheel looks pretty cool it looks nice but you know it's a water wheel so we can look at getting diesel power but yeah it looks pretty and the lamps are a nice touch but they don't provide a lot of um of light which is why i have so many lamps around here because i kept seeing yellow spots all over the place and it's only because i put in the glowstone that it stopped but this is working although i suspect it's working because we put in um coal coke as of as opposed to the preheaters oh no oh it's going down oh so maybe it needs both then maybe it needs both oh Okay, well, maybe it is working then. Yeah, the levers don't make any difference. Yeah, maybe it does need both then. It needs the cold coke plus the preheaters to make it faster. Okay, all right, well, then we know it's working. And this setup's really hokey, but... <laughs> There you go. So, thanks very much for watching. Uh, we made a blast furnace, this improved blast furnace this week. And I really hope you like what you have seen. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps to grow my channel. And I will see you in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.